She is not level. I need to lift it up on this end. So I get some shims under there. And I'm a little bit too high now. That down a little bit. That's looking reasonable. And actually, that looks like it's the only adjustment that I need to make before I can permanently attach this to the wall. So right now it's looking pretty level, side to side. I'll check it from front to back, but it should be because I was careful when I built this wall and this wall to make them both as plumb as I possibly could. And this looks good. The cross here looks good. So I think I'm good. I'm not going to put this in just now because I built this with the idea that I might have to scribe this filler where it meets the wall over here and also scribe it at the back there a little bit so that it conforms to the wall back there a little bit. Also, if it was if I had to block it up too high here, I would have to scribe this side panel to the floor as well. But I don't see any problems with this. Once it gets screwed in there, I'll be able to put the base on, which goes on the toe kick and around the side here, and that will cover any gap between the cabinet and the floor itself. It's a couple of days later and I've painted the walls around the vanity and I've also fixed up the plumbing here, the drain line, so that it lines up with the sink that I have. I actually made a video on that and there's a link in the description to that if you want to go watch that. I've put the vanity back in place and lined it all up, made sure it's level. I've also made marks on here where the screws go. I'm going to put three screws in, two at the top up here and one down at the bottom. And that's basically all I need to hold it in. But I'm also going to take blocks here and actually glue them down on the inside so they're up against the uh, back of the toe kick and that will keep the toe kick from being kicked in after the glue sets and the glue I'm going to be using of course is polyurethane instruction adhesive. Here are the blocks I was talking about that will go in there. I'm just going to squeeze out some glue on the bottom and on the front here and put it in place right here. <clears throat> Push it up tight against the back of the toe kick and down tight to the floor. And this glue sticks very well to ceramic tile or metal or whatever. So that will definitely hold it there. Okay, I got the cabinet installed. Now all I need to do is put the sink in. And to fasten it, I'm just going to use caulking actually. This is acrylic caulking. And I'm just going to run a bead on the top here, at the back, or in the inside I mean, and at the back. And along the front here as well. And basically, for this kind of a sink, this is really all that holds it in. Traditionally, you would use uh, silicone, especially clear silicone for this. But I prefer this because, first of all, it's way easier to clean up. I mean, if I get it on the wood, I can just wipe it off with a wet cloth. And overall, it's strong enough to do what it needs to do. I got a piece of tape over the top of that pipe, even though I put water in there to test it and to fill the trap. I like to do that just in case something falls in there inconveniently. I've cut the drain pipe to the right length here. And then we'll go in but I need to get this underneath first, of course. It goes up through. And then this drops down into the pipe, which lines up spectacularly. And then we can just tighten up that nut. Now this is a pop-up drain. 
This faucet came with the mechanical one and inconveniently it had a hole on the back here for the rod to go up and down and didn't include a plug with that hole, you know, for that hole. So I actually had to put a piece of tape on the inside of this and then fill it up with caulking so that, you know, as you're cleaning the sink up here, water is not going down inside through that hole in the back there. I'm going to be using the same caulking that I used to glue the sink in place, actually. And that's this acrylic stuff here. I'm going to try to lay it in in a good smooth bead. And I can tell I don't have enough in there, so I'll go back over it again a little bit. And then I've got a stick here that I'll be able to tool the corner with. But first I'm going to run my finger in there just to push it in to make sure it's pushed right into the corner. And I'm going to take this and drag out any extra. Now the reason why I'm using this type of caulking rather than silicone again is because this stuff can be painted. And I've got a painted wall here. I'm not having any backsplash like tile. If I was, I would use silicone. Uh, this stuff is waterproof once it sets up. It's also, like I say, paintable and you can clean it once it gets dirty. So next time I'm going to be building the drawers that go in here and installing those. And the reason why this may seem like, you know, I'm all over the place here because I was doing the tiles before and then I jumped to this. But the reason why I did this is because, first of all, I have to wait until my epoxy grub comes which is not here yet. And second of all, I want to finish the tile base around this cabinet. It goes across the front and returns down the side as well. And that all has to be grouted to the floor when I do it. So I need the vanity in place to do that.